Okay guys, what we're gonna talk about is how I started a business in the middle of a recession in 2009 and how that business grew. Right now, you're hit over the head with all of these things, recessionary measures, banks collapsing, the real estate markets collapsing, and it makes you fearful, it makes you a little hesitant to get into starting a business. And I want to go through my process of starting a business in the middle of a recession. This was 2009, this was in the middle of a recession and how that business grew. The name of that business was Conundrum Publishing. And this is where I was writing my books and putting it on Amazon and then selling PDF copies of my book on my website. And one of the things that I saw was, yes, we were in a recession. People were getting laid off. People were losing credit. People were getting foreclosed on. People were losing homes. It was a really nasty time between 2009. Like really, I would say it really started like 2007, the end of 2007. But we all know 2009 to 2012 were some really rough years for the economy. But here's the thing. Yes, people got laid off. Yes, people lost their jobs. But here's the thing. And I want to reflect back on during the Great Depression, unemployment was about 25%, which means that 75% of the people had jobs. And during the Great Depression, people still got rich starting businesses. Pulp fiction writers, these people who would write these pulp fiction books and they would sell them for a nickel. They would sell them for a nickel, became millionaires during the Great Depression. So what I want you to do is to put on your money hat. And with that, you should go ahead and get the money management course. Links below in the description. If it's not, in the, it will be in the description. And if I don't forget, it'll be in the first comment. But when you orientate your mind to making money, it doesn't matter if there's a recession. It simply doesn't matter because here's the thing. Yes, people were harmed. Yes, people were foreclosed on. Yes, things were quite nasty. But here's the thing. The nastiness wasn't everyone. 2009, I launched my first book, Making Money A to Z with Self Storage Unit Auctions. And I started the channel August 6, 2009. I was writing the book then. I was writing the book in September and I was writing the book in October. I launched the book in October. I started selling the book October 2009. October 2010, I made $62,000. My first year with a brand new business here on YouTube. I wasn't running ads. I had my YouTube channel. I had my blog. And I think that's about it. That's all I had. Then my second year, I made 92,000. 2009 recession years, 2010 recession years, 2011 recession. And then 2011, moving toward 2012, I did 1.5 million. These were recession years, because here's the thing. I want you to wake up with this phrase in your head. Somebody out there has my money in their pocket. Wake up with that phrase, because it doesn't matter if you get into the business the right way. And this is how I got into Conundrum Publishing. My total cost, and I will break this down over the years, my total cost was about $250 the first year, and the majority of that went to hosting and my domain name for my blog. I did absolutely nothing in terms of YouTube, and this is how bad it was, because when I first started YouTube, I was, completely ignorant i didn't there were so many things i didn't know and one of the things that i could not figure out for the longest was back then before youtube adjusted why did i have these black bars on the side of my videos because i was shooting my videos in standard definition which is a square i wasn't shooting my videos in high definition which is the rectangle and i was completely unaware of this and i did that for about two years then i got a better camera then my frame filled out so i made money for one, two years, spending $250 and coming here to the YouTube platform and presenting my case. And then this became a million dollar business. So do not be afraid. And one of the things that you need to do, because the uh, other day I had a live stream and there was something that was said in the live stream I find to be really good. Move in silence. Do not tell your friends 
Do not tell your family. Do not tell your associates. Just get your business start and get it up and making money. And why do I say don't tell your friends and associates? Typically, your friends and associates may not be your targeted customer. So telling them is, yeah, I'm out here. I'm out here making this business, man. I'm doing this thing, right? Telling them typically it's not gonna put more money in your pocket because they're not your target audience. So that statement during the live stream was very powerful. So I would say move in silence, do the things that you need to do to remain relevant, do the things you need to do to remain consistent to building your business. Because once you focus on whatever business you're starting, and like I said, there's so many of you guys out there, I have no clue to what kind of business you're gonna start. There are people who, and once again, starting your business with the right framework. I started my business extremely cheap, $250 the first two years, then at some point I upgraded to a Mac computer. I wanna say that was a year in because the Toshiba was killing me. And let's go ahead and say for the first two years, my operational cost, the money that I invested in that business was $2,000 because it's a little foggy because I don't remember exactly when I got the Mac. I do remember getting the Mac. I do remember the Mac being a game changer because typically when I was doing videos with the Toshiba would get so hot and it would make this whirring now. It's like, Voo! then boom, it would pop off. And I couldn't do anything to it cool down until, and this is where I had, there's a video, old video, how to clean out a Toshiba laptop. It's, it's got a lot of views. And when I got that Mac, it became a game changer because I could do multiple videos in one day, which was really hard to do with that Toshiba because it, it took a lot of time. And that MacBook, the, it wasn't a MacBook, it was an iMac. It was a 24 inch iMac. That iMac straightened up a lot of things and made me be able to do a lot more. And at this point I could do two or three videos a day quite easily because the Mac was optimized. iMovie, I used iMovie, was optimized for making videos. And yeah, so the first two years, my total operational expenses were less than 2000. I'm sure of it because I was not spending a lot of money for my business. And this is one of the things, but here was, this is what I was spending a lot of time on. I was spending a lot of time creating YouTube videos. I was spending a lot of time writing books. I was spending a lot of time writing my blog. So I was gainfully employed to do things to promote my business, but I wasn't spending money. And this is the big message here. You should not be trying to spend a lot of money. You should try to figure out what way can I run my business, get the most money out of my business by working. Because one of the things that people are trying to do is find this hack. There's a lot of people right now who are talking about getting business credit, which if you know the rules, you know how banks work, it's quite easy. But if you don't know, it can seem impossible. It can seem extremely hard. So what I want you to do is subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and be sure to get the money management course because this course is gonna help you optimize your money. It's gonna help you build business credit and it's gonna help you get your personal finances in order. And this course is 100% free to you because I feel that everyone needs to optimize their money and learn these tactics and learn how to do these things. I had a profitable business, and when I say profitable, and let's break down these numbers. $62,000 my first year was great. It blew my mind, and I'm gonna tell you why it blew my mind. I had left a physical business where I had a warehouse, I had a lease truck, I had to spend money to make money. And then I developed this business model, that $62,000 that I made my first year, it came from my mind, it came from my knowledge base, and it was just blowing my mind. I remember when I wrote my first book and I was finished, and at the time, I don't think Create Space existed anymore, but I got my galley, which is my first copy of my book from Create Space, and I literally spun around in the chair like a little kid because it was to actually start writing a book, to finish a book, to get it published. I was really zooted. And I was so happy, because here's the thing, people say $62,000 is not that much. For me, it was an incredible sum of money because this money came from my brain, it came from my mind, it came from me actively 
taking what I thought was a good product to the marketplace and the marketplace said, we like that book and we're gonna buy it. That was a game changing moment for me because it was the first time in my life that I had made money from my creative essence. It was the first time in my life that I had created a product that was winning based upon my efforts. And it was about me, once again, creating videos, writing books, writing blogs, and promoting myself. That's all I did. That's all I did for my business. And there are many more businesses that you can get into. Once again, I don't really know what business you're gonna get into. I have no clue because this there's this video has already come out talking about there's a million one businesses and I feel that could be the problem because you have so many choices, you have so many options. But one of the things that I do know that is quite true to this, you can start a successful multi-million dollar business in the middle of a recession and just keep doing the work, keep working on your craft, keep working on your business, keep doing your stuff and you will see the results. Because I want you to think, because when I was doing this, I didn't really talk to anyone. I didn't let my friends know I was doing YouTube. And at the time, I was like 42, a 42 year old man doing YouTube videos. And at the time, YouTube was full of kids. YouTube was, when I started YouTube in 2009, the majority of YouTubers were like high school kids and college graduates. So for me to be going to YouTube as a grown man, it, it was people with a, people thought it was funny. There were some people on my Facebook page that I was like, he's posting videos, that's hilarious. So I didn't really talk to anyone, but I did work. I did do the work and I kept writing, I kept putting up videos and what I saw was, and once again, the beginning is tough. I did not see massive growth, massive change and massive money my first two years. I saw 62,000 my first year, I saw 92,000 my second year, and my third year, and I'll explain why my income blew up because of the timing. I wrote my book 14, 15 months before the first storage auction show came on television. This is pivotal, this is game-changing information. If I had written my book shortly after the Storage Wars the Auction Hunter shows came out, I wouldn't have made the money I made because what this 14 month, 15 month window did was give me the time to create the YouTube videos, to fill out the blog, and when people went to online and they like put in storage auctions, guess what they found? They found my YouTube channel, they found my blog, and they found my book. And this is why people, and this is why my sales exploded in the third year because I had a 14 month head start, so to speak, on the Storage Wars, Auction Hunters, and I think there was like three or four shows, and I think they're all off at the moment, but that 14 months of me saying, hey, I'm gonna write a book about storage auctions, and I'm gonna create a YouTube channel talking about storage auctions. And it was funny because a lot of people knew who I was. I would be having conversations and it'd be like, oh, you're the storage auction guy. So a lot of people knew who I was, and I started a business extremely cheaply, less than $2,000, that ended up making seven figures in year three. And I started this business in the middle of a recession. I started this business in the middle of a recession. I started this business in the middle of a recession. And I said that three times to let you know that you shouldn't let the economy dictate your activity. You shouldn't let the economy, because once again, we can have a recession. We can have all kinds of things, because at the moment, currently, we're not from economic data points in a recession because the first quarter we had a GDP percentage increase of 1.5%. I know you're like 1.5%, that's not a lot, but we're talking a trillion dollar industry. 1.5% is quite a bit. So we're not in a recession. We don't have any, we'll find out what happens in the second quarter, what just started. So we gotta wait another two months and 18 days to find out what happens with this. So there's all this talk about, we're being in a recession, the economy's bad, the doc don't listen to it. If you have a business that you wanna start it, start doing the work, start building your business, start creating the energy that you need in your business because your activity will de determine your success later in the future. Because I can say this, it's proof positive. You, If you wanna spend the time, because it used to be, when you can go to YouTube, 
you could look at the oldest video and they took that feature away. But if you want to spend the time crawling through all of my videos, you can go back and see when I started this videos. You can see what my videos used to look like. It is all on public record. This whole thing is on public record to show you that you can be successful starting a business in the middle of a recession. And at the moment, we're not in a recession. We're not in a recession at the moment. So if you're willing to do the work, prepare yourself and open up your eyes, you can create a incredibly profitable business and you can create an incredibly successful future for yourself. Because once again, it all depends upon the activity and the work that you do with starting your business. And once again, like I said, from the live stream, I feel that's some really good advice. Move in silence, start your business. Don't be telling everyone, maybe your wife or your close girlfriend, let them know what's going on. But other than that, I would not be bragging to my friends. I wouldn't be saying all this stuff. I would just be working and just be working and just be working and just be working until my business gets to where I want it to be because I did this with a book and that's just one business model. There's just one business model that you can go ahead and ingratiate yourself into where you can put yourself in the position where you can win. Once again, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification bell. Be sure to get the money management course. Once again, the description is in the text under the video. And if I don't forget, because you know, things happen, sometimes I forget, it'll be in the first comment where you can get this free money management course to help you optimize your money and to set up your situation in the best manner possible for you while working on this. So my name is Glendon Cameron. I'm here today, probably be here tomorrow, probably be here 10 years from now. And I will see you guys in the next video.